Hi, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm going to talk about Reaper, but not how you can install it and what it is, basically. Because in a previous video, I've already talked about this. What am I going to talk about is adding plugins, extensions into Reaper and thereby adding thousands of free audio plugins which are working natively in Reaper itself. Let's go! Music production in general, audio production, is definitely an interesting endeavor, especially if you're switching from a, uh, to a different operating system. Because I'm just going to assume that most of you uh, are Windows users or former Windows users. And you have collected your experience on that basis. Now I'm having an entire playlist focusing on audio production on Linux. And yeah. Now, what's so special about the extensions I'm going to talk about now? The rear pack and the SVS extensions, but the rear pack extensions are running natively in Reaper, the Reaper DAW itself. What does that mean? That it does not matter on which operating system you are working on. Because, as I said previously, they're running on a Reaper OS. I mean, it's not an operating system, obviously, but to get this point across. I'm just I'm t telling you this wrongful fact. <laughs> wrongful fact, yeah, this is the most horrific description, but I think fitting the modern times, but this is not what this video is going to be about. <laughs> Let's move on. What we need to do first is to install the dependencies for Reaper extensions. In the description, you can find the commands, you just need to copy paste them. Just you know some data we are going to I'm just going to show you. We're gonna do unzip it, put it in the Reaper directive, and then we're really going to relaunch it. Yeah. Here I am back on my desktop. In the previous video I've talked about installing the Reaper DAW in Linux. All in all, not that complicated. But now I'm gonna talk about installing some add-ons, some packages, some extensions and lots of free audio plugins, but also scripts and also additional ways of working with the audio door. Now, at first, let's open a browser and go to, ah, no, to Reaper door. Then we go to resources, rear pack package manager and SVS Reaper extension. We're going to open both of these. Now on Linux, we are just going to download the 64 version. 64 bit version. So and with SVS we do the same. Now before we continue. There, it stands, requires Reaper, blah blah blah, and some dependencies, SQLite, GCC, etc. In the description, I have you know, linked some dependencies, but additional to some dependencies, some commands, and some yeah, the installation path to install set dependencies for Arch, Debian, and Fedora based systems for you. Now, <clears throat> so here I am in downloads. Now let's unzip it here. Now, how do we install this? You open Reaper. Go to Options, Show Reaper Resource Path in Explorer Finder. Then we close Reaper. So now, first of all, go into User Plugins, 
and drag and drop Reaper rear pack into here. Transfer it over. Then to SVS, then in SVS for the user plugins, drag and drop it into here. Then scripts. Now here in the Reaper folder, you can also find a script folder. We open this one and then we drag and drop these here into the scripts folder. And for grooves, you will find there is not a single folder with the name grooves. Simple, we just drag and drop the entire folder here. So, now inside the user plugins, these two files we have added in scripts, the two Python files, and the grooves folder. So now let's open, reopen Reaper. Now, now a pop up menu shows up. So manage repositories, etc. Now, this is the most important part and the most important step. We are going to add additional repositories into the Reaper DAW. You can kind of compare it to, you know, adding additional repositories into Fedora, for example. Kind of, not really, but let's move on. What we're going to do, we're going to go on import, import repository. Then press discover repository. Then your browser pops up and then these with the green star are already added into Reaper. What we're going to do, we just, you know, our sentence scripts, for example, we take this one, copy, drag, paste it in here, enter, and we do this here. And we're just going to continuously, I would really recommend to copy paste every single one of these into here. Because for example, Psyche tools, I didn't want to open it. Psyche tools, for example, amazing tools. ReJJ, there's the Reek EQ or the Re EQ. Um, uh, great audio plugin, so Tukan, Tukan not to be underestimated for tape emulation, for, you know, this kind of stuff, and all of them for free. And then what you do, you're just going to copy paste all of them in here, then you press OK, then you go imp, uh, now browse packages, select all actions, Install update selections. Then, do you want to repack to install your packages automatically when synchronized in the future? Yes, we want. And then apply. Yeah. So good, so fine. Then you will figure out then that the you now extensions menu is exists now, and we can work with it. Now, what we need to do, especially in the rear pack, we need to import some repositories. Yeah, I will just show you, and yeah, yeah, there are different repositories, especially there's Tukan audio plugins, for example. Tukan audio plugins, you know, from tape emulation to reverb to guitar amp simulation, etc., to psyche, really spacey reverb, distortion effects, and etc. Yeah. In Reaper, when you go to extensions, then to rear pack, browse packages, what I would recommend for you to do, if you, you know, at least once a week or every second week, go back into browse packages. So into here, select all actions, install update selections because you no, know, it get regularly updates. Apply, okay, no, no new updates for me there but just for you to consider, because you know, you did not just install the other plugins, you added the repository, which means that you also can regularly update the updates that are coming out for these plugins. 
And now just for you to get a really rough overview what you have installed. Yeah, first of all, so we go to FX to you know, list up all the plugins and into JS. Here is the folder where all these plugins you have installed. Let's go to Tukan. You know, Tukan in JS folder. This is where all the rear pack downloaded extensions, audio plugins are loaded into. Now, for example, all of them for free, all of them, you know, so it's, you know, some channel, for example. So, for example, one of many, the two come audio plugins. Now we have a channel strip. Then we go tape recorder. You can resize it, obviously. And for some tape emulation, you can decide the speed. Yeah, nice. I mean, there's no sound coming because nothing is loaded into. Then Psyche, for example, these are the two com plugins. Psyche. Lava Reverb, for example. I mean, figuring out what exactly all of them do and how all of them work is its own, <laughs> its own thing, but let's just... Abyss Reverb, for example. I will, I will make a showcase in the future where, you know, I'll show all the different audio plugins, maybe rear pack, but also external audio plugins, so all of them I will make a showcase, how to sound, how to behave, how reverb delay behave, but this is not what this video is going to be about, just to get a rough overview. So what you're having here is, you know, lots of high quality audio plugins for free, linked by repositories into Reaper, which you can continuously update and for example you know more and more are being added slowly but surely so yeah and all of them are running natively inside reaper for you something to consider now also what we have installed now what we have also installed uh, extensions are the svs extensions you now for you to, to create custom custom scripts, for example, additional commands, you know, loudness, analyzing tools for your order production, then track management, track snapshots, if this is something for you. So there are lots of options, lots of alternatives and lots of tools and possibilities these extensions provide you, which is impossible to explain in a single video. But, you know, this is what this video is going to build, a rough showcase of how can you install of them. And yeah. So there is a lots of tools, lots of abilities, etc. And this is how you add the different repositories, all the plugins, extensions into the repo door. There are many different abilities, etc. and tools you can use. But yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching this video. Keep working, because there are still much to do and go read Berserk.